Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. We're zero in in today on our target of not being wholly incompetent at CNC machining. We're testing some hard milling end mills from a reputable source in some shrink fit holders in order to cut AR 400, 450, or 500, maybe even hard ox. Who can say in this day and age? You see it getting. Yeah, yeller. That's where you want it. Oh. Oh, come on. Not in front of my internet, friends. Fuck. Ah, come on. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Come on. There we go. A little bit warm. Woe betide the poor mothers who, whose machinist sons are born with a Cat 40 collet in their hand. Yeah, we're gonna stop it there. Clearly, I'm not happy. I followed right to the letter of the law on the diagram, 260 inches per minute. And I think that's a little, or no, surface feet per minute rather. I think that's a little aggressive. We're gonna tone that back and because all of the parameters are all intermingled, we gotta change everything around. We'll go back to the confuser. Was it 2000 ripples and 11 inches per minute? Uh, same feed per tooth, that's critical there. So we'll just run that. Yeah, that's way better, man. Just a little bit slower spindle speed. Well, 500 rip them slower. Quite substantial, actually. But. So clearly those manufacturer parameter sheets are a good starting point, but not necessarily... You know, what else would be good, actually, is that John Saunders uh, testing. He actually does testing and then shows you the recipes. You gotta pay for it, it's a subscription base. I, I never thought it'd be worth it, but clearly if you're doing lots of different prototyping work, trying to get recipes is definitely would be worth it. Okay, this is where it's gonna break, so we'll just stop there. Zed, jog away. If in the last part of that cut didn't wake you up, then the baying neighborhood dogs ought to have. We can see that the geometry is critical as well. It was getting into a, not so much a trochoidal cut, but where it was getting squeezed and it was cutting sort of more in a corner. And you heard the results, very critical. Not only you get the recipe right, but you get the tool paths right. And if we have a look, see, at her, this reputable hard milling tool, she's right cookered. Cunt stained tongue glide, just cannot handle Vibration. Now we've been fiddle fucking around with the town pump CNC for over a year now and progression wise, I think we're doing okay. Clearly, heuristically, experience based is the only way to go for the cutting recipes, the cutting parameters, because everything changes. Everything, there's so many interconnected variables that you change one, something else changes. It's very, very difficult to have a hard and fast rule. What we're doing, with manufacturer's spec sheets, with uh, tools like uh, John Saunders' uh, precision cut, uh, is we're narrowing the, the band gap, we're narrowing the, the, the band of potential parameters, but you need to address it on a case-by-case -case basis. I don't think there's any shortcuts to, uh, to experience other than the obvious shortcut, which is the master and apprentice uh, situation where you get to learn at the elbow of a master. But even, you know, you look at somebody like Edge Precision, when he's running a, a new jig or a new tool, he's, he's still feeling things out. I can't afford to have a, anything go wrong with this. The, the parts, the setup piece, 
I wasn't too concerned about, you know, I was just setting up the program and making sure everything worked with the program. And that's a whole other story in itself because... Too many variables to wholly eliminate the heuristics and the art of the science. You don't know until you know. And there you go. Now you know, well, which is what machinists have been doing for a hundred years. They, yeah. I ain't a machinist. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.